Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use an apartment heating system in Korea. First, please note that not all the control systems look like this. In fact, mine is actually quite simplistic. All of them are going to have similar buttons, so um, I will leave a link where you can see a variety of different control panels, but overall, because they're very similar and they have similar control buttons, you can use this as a guide for your own. So first you see uh, Shiron, which is the room temperature, and mine's at 29 degrees Celsius, which is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. I know that's a bit warm for some people, but this is actually kind of comfortable for me. Um, next, you'll see the onsu, which is the, the heat level of my hot water, which I will show you how to control in a moment. So just let's look at the main part of the control center here. Nanbang. This controls the underfloor water heating. So mine says Nanbang, but the on but the alternative word for this is Ondor, which I believe is seen more commonly. Uh, but both things are essentially the same thing. They control that underfloor water heating. And then Nanbang Ondo is the temperature setting. So if I click this, it's gonna flash Sojong, which is a setup, and then Nanbang is the you know, under floor heating setting. So if I press up or down, this will set the heat for under my floor of how much I want it. And then eventually it will get to that point. Um, but we're not gonna show you that because it is the middle of summer. Next, we have Onsu. So this is a button to control the actual hot water temperature. So when you use your sink, your kitchen sink, your uh, shower, these things, this is what that's going to control. So you can see if I press it and turn it off, that means no hot water. There's no hot water in my house. But if I press it and turn it on again, then I can control the heat level here, which is high, low, medium. I typically do keep it on medium um, just because it's more comfortable that way and it does tend to get quite on the hot side for my apartment at least so this is just the boiler um, you don't really need to pay much attention to this um, but here these two might be useful for you so way too this is more useful during the winter when you don't want your pipes to freeze but you don't want to keep your heat on all day so this will help you to it'll keep it on but it won't keep it at such a high level which I'm actually gonna turn this off before it starts going crazy um but essentially it's just it, when you go out you press it and when you come back in you press it and then it'll keep your pipes from freezing yeah which is to set a timer so you can see here 30 minutes one hour I'm just pressing the button over and over, two hours, three hours. So this is saying when the yayak will start. So in three hours, it will turn on. Um, but I'm gonna actually turn that off and everything clears. But essentially, the control panels may be a little bit different, so you'll have to play around with it a bit. You might have a turn, you might have an actual button instead of having to press this. Another thing that some control panels may have is the shille button. So that means indoors, which means indoor heat. So this is actually not the underfloor heating type. This is the, it's almost like air heating. The main thing you want to remember is that when you see this, the on, ondo or on, ondo together means temperature and on is related to temperature. So that's why on su, ondo. There's an on there, there's an on there. It's all temperature related. Like if you're not really sure which one's temperature, really look for the undo there. That's gonna control whatever the the height, the level of the temperature for what you're looking for. So essentially, yeah, that's it. Anyway, I hope this video was useful for you and I'll see you in the next one.